When you meet Catherine again at the beginning of the series, you find out that she's married and has a stepdaughter who is her husband Tom Weston's daughter from a previous marriage. They, they do have an attraction to each other and um, they do fulfil each other in, in certain areas. And Catherine can comfort and support Tom when he needs it and, and vice versa. I think in series two, she is weak. She's mourning the death of her father. She's, um, she's not the war warrior she normally is. And so maybe towards the end, Tom is getting the upper hand over Catherine and pulling, you know, tricks out of his hat, going, I've got this over you. The saving grace uh, for, for Catherine is Flora. That's probably the purest thing in her life because her relationship with Tom is dark and nasty and dysfunctional. But with Flora, she's, she's innocent. She's what Catherine was at that age, she lost her mother. Um, and Catherine doesn't want the cycle to be repeated of her feeling the way she felt. Catherine thinks she's over Murray, but Catherine's not over Murray. She thinks it will alleviate her pain by making him feel pain and Denise feel pain, but it doesn't alleviate anything. You just get, you just get lost in pain and you lose clarity and perspective on things. And it's a stressful way to live. It is better to forgive and forget. So Catherine's gonna keep on living the way she is and uh, probably end up being really bitter and um, yeah, she's, she's just not happy deep down, but she's, She's not over Marais. She just doesn't know it yet.